Bro, y'all won't believe what just happened, bro. So, I just recorded like the quote unquote intro to the video. The camera pointing the wrong way. The camera pointing the wrong way, bro. Can't fake. But what's good with y'all boys, man? Back at y'all on another video. Before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below. Drop a like on the video. Follow me on all the socials. Link's gonna be in the description. Oh, uh, what else? Subscribe to that Patreon, bro. Subscribe to that Patreon, bro. Y'all see the Hemi? Look at the Hemi. The Hemi need a wash. I ain't gonna lie. The Hemi need a wash. Not gonna lie. But y'all see what time it is, bro. Y'all see what time it is, bro. Y'all comment, comment what kind of car y'all got down below. Comment down below if you think you can beat me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what I'm finna talk to y'all boys about. Like I said, I just recorded like two minutes worth of footage. Camera pointing the wrong way. But, oh, as I slide into the car where I come to talk to y'all boys. Man, what are we even gonna talk about today? I'm in a good mood today, so I might talk to y'all about some females, I ain't gonna lie. I might talk I might talk to y'all about some females, I ain't gonna lie. Cause really, I just came in here and I just picked the camera up to tell y'all really and truthfully what I wanna tell y'all is, last video, y'all seen what I was talking about. Last video, I got y'all that heart to heart. It wasn't even really a heart to heart, I was really just updating y'all on my life, letting y'all know that look, bro. Sometimes a dog gonna close. But another door gonna open. That's really all I was telling y'all. And with that being said, the door. <laughs> with that being said, a door for sure open. No cap. A door most definitely open. I ain't gonna say too much because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want to say too much. But just know a door has opened. A big door has opened. Big door has opened for your boy. Big door has opened for your boy. So we still we at the end of May right now. Like I told y'all, bro. The beginning of the year, I, I was like, oh, gas, no breaks. Because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got stuff going, this, that, and the third. And I feel the momentum picking up. But now, oh, bro. Oh, boy. Y'all just don't understand how crazy I'm finna go these, these next six months to finish this year off. Y'all just don't understand how crazy I'm finna go these next six months to finish this year off. Y'all don't understand, bro. But with that being said, I do want to say that I appreciate each and every one of y'all. These day ones, we're gonna roll to 7K. We're gonna roll to 7K. We on a road to 7K. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe down below. You know what I'm saying? But today, bro, I don't know. Oh, I know what we could talk about because I had somebody DM me. I made a little quick TikTok about this. If you wanna follow my TikTok, follow me on TikTok at Flex Look Way. This is what I want to talk to y'all about. Because we're gonna talk about like setting up links, not necessarily setting up links, but certain things that you need to know and certain things that you need to do, certain things that you don't need to do. When it come down to setting up links or setting up dates, basically when you finna see a chick, you feel me? I had a dude DM me. He was telling me basically that him and his girl, not his girl, but him and this girl, was texting. They text from time to time and they hang out in this, that, and the third. But he told me that lately she been texting back kind of slow, if not texting back at all. He, I don't remember if he really specified or not, but either she was texting back slow or she just wasn't texting back at all. And he told me that they gonna, but they gonna see each other like next week. At the time of the DM, he said that he was gonna see her next Tuesday. And he was like, should I hit her up again? Should I just wait till we link up this, then the third? Look, 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 look. Bro, all type of whips and, you know what I'm saying, trucks and stuff be passing through, so I be trying to see. Because at the same time, bro, 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 <laughs> bro, I kid y'all not, bro. See, this, this is why I be looking and stuff, because, bro, like, not, not too long ago, like, two, like two days ago, bro, I kid you not, I'm sitting in my driveway right now. I'm sitting in my driveway right now. Like two days ago, this truck pulled up at my uh, at my neighbor crib, right? This truck pulled up at my neighbor crib like two days ago. So this lady, she walks from my neighbor crib. It's literally right. It's literally right there. So the truck, she they were right there, right? They just parked right there in this driveway. She come over here. It's a white woman. She she's and she looked she looked a little bit older, but nonetheless she come over here. Y'all know what she asked me, bro? Well, she didn't ask me. She asked my girl, but y'all know what she asked? Is this the animal rescue place, bro? When I tell y'all, bro, I encounter so many NPCs. It really don't make no sense. Like, what about a house says that this is an animal rescue place? You know what I'm saying? Because in my mind, I'm like, where are you getting your coordinates from? Then also in my mind, I'm like, you lying, who do you work for? You know what I'm saying? Because like, what are you talking about? But not only did she just not, not only did she, she didn't just stop at my house. She went over there to my other neighbor crib. Knocking on night though, but wasn't nobody there. 
But I just had to tell y'all that because it's like the craziest stuff be happening. I'm telling y'all, bro, go to the grocery store right now and try to, and talk to five people. Two out, two or three out of five of them people are gonna be an NPC. They're not gonna be able to hold a conversation with you. And it's weird because it's like, bro, what are you talking about? The animal rescue place? But I'm just talking y'all ahead, bro. I'm really just happy to be talking, talking to y'all again, even though I just talked to y'all yesterday. But like I said, I'm in a good mood, bro. I'm in a good mood. My energy been good these past couple days. Like I said, I just got fired like three days ago. You can't even tell. But anyways, yeah, the dude, he DM'd me. Basically, he was saying that he finna link up with this girl, but she been texting slow. Should he hit her up or should he just wait till they link up? Listen, bro, when you talking to a girl, this is what you got to understand. When you talking to a girl, if y'all establish, because it's nothing wrong with you talking to a girl, y'all on a, on a consistent basis. That's basically what you want to do. You feel me? But if you and a chick set up some type of link, like y'all agree to link up at this date, y'all agree to go to this place or she pulling up on you, whatever it is, y'all just finna see each other in person. Look, bro. Y'all don't have to, you don't have to talk to this girl every single day leading up until the day that y'all actually see each other. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand that it's one thing if y'all just literally talk to each other every day on a consistent basis. She like, she could be your girlfriend or this could be the main chick in your rotation. This then the third. You feel me? So it's not necessarily nothing wrong with y'all talking every single day, but I'm just saying that it's not necessary. You feel me? It's just not necessary. It's not necessary. So what I mean is this. Really more so it's like this when it's a it's a chick that you probably finna see for the first time or the first couple of times you finna see this chick. Y'all don't talk too heavily or too consistently. So basically it's like this. If you set up a link with a chick, you feel me? Let's say you bag this chick. Y'all finna go on a date. Y'all finna link up for the first time. And you plan it a week in advance, right? So it's like next week or maybe better yet, it could be this weekend. So maybe t let's, what's today? Today, Wednesday. So let's say you let's say you hit up a girl today, y'all finna link up, y'all plan to go on a date Saturday, right? You from today up until Saturday, you don't have to text her every single day. Like tomorrow, you do not have to text her. Friday, you don't have to text her. You can text her. Friday, Saturday is the time that you want to hit her up. The only thing that you want to hit her up to do is to verify that y'all still linking up. You understand what I'm saying? Because what I'm trying to get y'all to understand with these women is y'all have to have some type of mystery about yourself. Let her think about how good they gonna go. Or whatever the heck she gonna think about. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be all, let's just, you wanna have some mystery about yourself. If you set a day up with a girl, you talk to her every single day leading up to that point, you kind of come off a little needy. In the beginning. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning. This, keep in mind, I'm telling y'all, this is like, if you're finna see a chick for the first time or the first couple of times, you don't wanna come off too needy. You don't wanna come off too available. You know what I'm saying? You still wanna, you wanna give out the vibe that you have options. You're talking to other women. You just got things going on in your life. You understand what I'm saying? That's really what it's all about, bro. Because it's nothing, like I said, there's nothing wrong with you talking to her. It's just the, it's just the vibe that you want to give off. Be talking to other women. Have things going on in your life to the point where you can't just pick up the phone and talk to her at every given second that she wants to. You feel me? That type of vibe. Because like I said, he was telling me that the vibe was already like, I mean, the messages and the energy was already slow. She wasn't really replying in a timely manner. This then the third. Bro, what I tell y'all, bro? Girls be on their phone all day, 24-7, 365. Y'all be on y'all phone 24-7, 365. You know what I'm saying? So you mean, bro, if a girl don't text you back, she seen your message, she just didn't want to reply to you. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all be knowing when a girl don't text y'all back, y'all see that she still be active on social media. Y'all be seeing her post on her story. Y'all see her post TikTok. Y'all know when a girl is ignoring you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, y'all see it firsthand. So at the end of the day, you don't need to be needy with it. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be needy with it. You match the energy. If a girl is texting back slow, this then the third, what I tell y'all, bro? Think the words. She talking to somebody else. You ain't got you ain't you ain't got to think that she bouncing on some other dude. She could be, but just you know what I'm saying. She talking to somebody else. She doing her own thing. I'm gonna do my own thing. We already planned to link up this weekend, or we already planned link to link up next week. Okay, so what else needs to be said other than hey, we still good for the day. You still down. You know what I'm saying. We still. You know what I'm saying. Other than you verifying the link, y'all be too. It's like a girl know when you don't talk to no girls. A girl know when. She one of the baddest chicks you'd ever dealt with because of how y'all be acting, because of how needy y'all be, because y'all go into this nice guy boyfriend mode, and that's what makes y'all love. That's what end up getting y'all friends on. That's what end up getting y'all ghosted after this one link. You thought everything was cool. You thought she enjoyed herself, but in reality, she just wanted to have a good time. She was just bored. She just wanted to get out the house. She didn't want to swipe her own car. You know what I'm saying? But what y'all got to understand and realize is, bro, mystery is everything because women, 
you want a woman's mind is like a it's like a constant puzzle trying to be solved. You feel me? A woman's mind is like a constant puzzle trying to be solved. So when it comes down to a chick that's like actually very, very, very attracted to you, you want her to be in the beginning stages of y'all talking to get to know each other and building a bond, quote unquote, not necessarily working towards a relationship, but just y'all interacting with each other, talking to each other, seeing each other. You might blow the back out, get the clap the cheeks, this, that, and the third. You want to be, a, you want to have a mysterious vibe and a mysterious aura to yourself. What is it about him? You know what I'm saying? And by you being mysterious, less available, this, that, and the third, that's going to make her think, what is it about him? Because I'm telling you, like I say, the average man, he thirsty. The average man, you want to talk to her all day, 24-7, 365. He wake up and go to sleep thinking about this one chick. You know what I'm saying? You got to be different. Why she can't be like that over you? That's what I, that's what I, don't, that's what I don't get about y'all. Because y'all don't value yourselves enough, probably because you don't have a reason to at this point in your life. Which is cool. Understand that. Realize that being reality and capitalize off that. Women should be drooling over y'all, bro. That's what I understand. Women should be chasing y'all. That's how y'all should want it. Y'all shouldn't want to chase these hoes all day, bro. Because they really don't have nothing to offer but other than what's between their legs. How they look. You feel me? A lot of these chicks, they don't carry good energy. They don't carry good intentions. They don't have no morals. You feel me? So why are we chasing these type of women? But what you got to understand is this. You can flip the script and have her running to you, chasing you, blowing your phone, and wondering what you're doing. That's how you want it to be. You see what I'm saying? How you get that, though? By being mysterious. Like I said, in the beginning stage of you dealing with a chick, don't tell her everything about your life. Don't tell her everything about your past. Don't break up none of your exes. Don't break up none of that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let her work to figure you out. But she never can figure you out because the thing that you tell her is going to keep her guessing. The thing that you tell her is going to keep her on her toes. Y'all got to have game, bro. Y'all got to work on y'all conversation skills. Y'all be ready to, y'all meet a chick, she's so bad. Y'all have a good couple conversations. Y'all have this one good day. You ready to tell her everything about yourself. You letting, you start letting your guard down. Once a girl see that you let your guard down, the games begin. That's when the manipulation kick in. You think it's cool. You think that it's cool to be comfortable, this, that, and the third. But now nah, she, and her mind is like, let the games begin. Let's see how far he gonna go. Let me make him run through these hoops. Let's start testing him. Girls know this, bro. Girls are master manipulators. That is literally their game. They can manipulate you with them guts. They can manipulate you with her words. She can manipulate you with her mouth. You know what I'm saying? When she, you know what I'm saying? Sucking your balls and stuff. But you have to be a man of principle. You have to be a man of substance, a man of value to the point where it's like, pay attention to what's directly in front of you. If a girl is giving you hot and cold energy, she texting back slow, this, that, and the third, don't never blow her phone up. Never blow her phone up. You charge it to the game and you respond accordingly. You pull back as well. That's why I tell y'all, if you a single man, bro, talk to more than one talk to more than one girl. Literally, I'm not playing with y'all. If you are a single man, talk to more than one girl. Why? Because you're not gonna be you're not gonna it's gonna be harder for you to get attached to this one specific chick if you're talking to multiple. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all be so thirsty and y'all be so desperate. This one girl coming to your life and you ready to bow down to her. That's where y'all mess up at. That's how y'all get y'all heartbroken. Focus on getting you some money. Focus on getting you some paper. Focus on getting your physique right. Focus on improving your mindset. Focus on doing things that'll help you live a better life and become a better person. So when women come into your life, you can run your offense. You can run your game how it's supposed to be ran. Not every time you not every time that you run a play, it's a turnover. You understand what I'm saying? So all in all, the message that you need to understand behind this video is like, bro, for one, pay attention to what's in front of you. For two, if you finna link up with a girl, you don't have to talk to her every single day leading up to y'all talking to each other, bro. Have some mystery. Let her mind wonder, what is he doing? Who else is he talking to? You know what I'm saying? What what type of life does he live? What does he do every single day? He not talking to me, so who he talking to? He not talking to me, so what he doing? I see him posting this. I see him over here. You know what I'm saying? I see this on his story. What he doing? Because I'm telling you, you want to maintain that high level of attraction. You understand what I'm saying? Because... You want to spend all that all that conversation you doing leading up to the date. You can talk all that all that conversation can be had during the date. Because understand this, bro. Because a lot of y'all struggle with conversation skills and having conversations with women in person. So if you linking up with a chick, you finna link up with a chick four days from now, a week from now, this, that, and the third, and you talk to her every single day leading up to that link. What y'all gonna talk about when y'all get in person? You see what I'm saying, bro? I hope I'm making sense to y'all. What y'all gonna talk about when y'all get in person if y'all talking every single day leading up to y'all linking? You feel me? You want to give her a completely different vibe. You want her, you don't want to have, you don't want a woman. <sighs> One thing about my phone, bro, is know how to just make me mad because it just stopped recording. But 
and I ain't got my camera right. But yeah, one thing about my phone, bro, you know how to make me mad and just start recording, but that's really a sign though, cause I left my keys in my car, so I might have to just pull it off of my stuff. But I, that, it really messed me up cause I don't even know what the heck I was saying in the last clip of the video. Um, What I was saying? Yeah, bro, you don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all dudes that y'all wanna, y'all link up with a girl. Y'all wanna talk to her every single day leading up to the link. When y'all get in person, what y'all gonna talk about? You feel what I'm saying? For y'all dudes that be struggling having conversations with girls in person, this, that, and the third. This is what I mean. Keep the mystery. Let her wonder what you doing. Let her anticipate how good the date can be. Let her anticipate getting to know you on the link. You feel me? On the date, whatever the case may be. No. Yeah, bro, my bad. My mama just asked me something. All in all, bro, maintain the mystery. Like I said, this is more so geared to these women that you just met, who you linking up with for the first time, the second time, this type of thing. And you want to maintain that level of mystery. You feel me? Even if this is a girl that you've been knowing, you still don't want to just be all the way available to the point where you just talking to her 24-7, 365, and end all be all. You pay attention to what's in front of you. You pay attention to the signs. If girls is giving you hot and cold energy, you have to pull back because women gonna make it obvious and make it easy that they interested in you. You understand what I'm saying? They're not gonna make you go through all these tests. They're not gonna take it forever to reply. They're always on their freaking phone, bro. They're always on their freaking phone, bro. So with that being said, learn how to just go ghost on some of these women. Learn how to just prioritize self. Prioritize your grind, your purpose. If you're on your purpose, if you're on your mission, if you get into this money, you're not gonna always be able to pick up your phone and have a conversation with a girl. You feel what I'm saying? If you're finna link up with a girl, bro, a couple days from now, a week from now, this, that, and the third, look, verify the link, that's it. Y'all don't have to do all this extra talking, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let her come to you. Let her think about what you're doing. Let her think about these different type of things. Let her hit you up. Let her call you. And that's what I also was saying, bro. This is the last thing I was saying. Y'all wanna text, y'all wanna text these girls all day on the phone, bro. Y'all be asking about all this text game, bro. Forget about all this text game. You don't have to text no girl. You really don't have to text a girl at all. Really, I'm telling y'all. Y'all, you barely have to text a girl, bro. Get on the phone with her. Get on the phone with her. Send her a voice message. Let a girl hit a bass in your voice. Let a girl see you when you're talking to her and you can see her. You feel what I'm saying? Text and that's easy. That's basic. You can say anything you want behind the screen. You know what I'm saying? You can say anything you want behind the screen. No questions asked. No problems at all. Learn how to get on the phone with these girls. Like you call her up. You call her up real quick. You feel me? You tell them that you're just checking in with her, see how she's doing. You busy, this, that, and the third, but you were just making sure that y'all still on for the day or y'all still on for tomorrow, whatever the case may be. Or if it's a girl that, you know what I'm saying, that's in your rotation that who you've been kicking it with for for a little bit you hit her up you check on her periodically throughout the week or whatever the case may be it's just bro let your voice be heard talk to her for a little bit ladies and do some check-ins go on about your life bro you gonna get attached to these girls when you talk to them all day 24 7 365 because you're gonna you all gonna start having y'all gonna have this one good conversation and it's gonna get you in lovey dovey la la land mode to the point where oh man i like that conversation we had Oh, last night we talked about this and I want to talk about this. Y'all falling asleep on the phone, this, then the third. Now, next thing you know, you get in touch, you ready to cuff. You feel what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about the girl. Just vibe out, bro. Just vibe out. Like I say, texting game is so easy. Call the girl, regular call the girl, send her a voice message, get on FaceTime, this, then the third. And you just let it flow. You know what I'm saying? After the link, this, this, this last thing I'm going to say, after the link, you don't need to blow her phone up about how you ready to link again. After the link, bro, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you don't have to text her at all, you can wait on her to text you. But if you're going to send anything, you just let her know that you enjoyed yourself and you were just checking on her, making sure that she made it home safe. That's all you got to do. You know, and that you're looking for, you ain't even got to say that you're looking forward to seeing her again. You ain't even got to say all that. You can just say that you enjoyed yourself and you were just making sure that she made it home safe this down the third. You feel me? Or if you, act, if you picked her up and you dropped her off back at her crib or whatever, you let her know that you, you know what I'm saying? That... 
that you text her, you ain't gotta tell her that you made it at home. You a full grown man. But you can just you can just text her and say that look, that you enjoyed yourself. That's all you gotta say. But end all be you really ain't gotta say nothing after the link. You let her let you know. Because if she had a good time, she gonna tell you. you feel what I'm saying? If she had a good time, she gonna call your phone. That's it. That's all it is, bro. So when it comes down to you linking with these females, bro, stop being thirsty in the beginning. Stop doing all this texting and all this extra stuff that you could be doing in person. Then after the link, bro, same thing. Don't be thirsty. Don't be needy. Don't be in such a rush to link. Don't be in such a rush to clap the cheeks either. Because if she enjoy herself, she gonna make it obvious that you can get them cheeks. It don't mean that it's gonna happen on the first time. Just because you don't get the cheeks on the first time do not mean that you're not gonna get it all. Sometimes you don't need it on the first date because it's gonna be much better the second time. You know what I'm saying? Girls be more inclined to give you the cheeks the second time if she know that you ain't gonna try them the first time. You feel me? But it's certain, it's certain females, y'all know how it go. It's certain females that it's so obvious that you have to try on the first link, that you gotta get it. Not even that you gotta try because she giving it to you. You gotta just get it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I hope y'all learned something from this. Make sure you drop a like down below. Make sure you comment some future suggestions. Oh, this is what I was telling y'all about. This is what I was telling y'all about before the freaking video cut out. Very important stuff. I'm glad I freaking remember. I'm now an Amazon influencer, bro. I'm now an Amazon influencer, so I have a list. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in the description. I'm gonna pin it in the comments as well. I have a list on my Amazon, on my, on my Amazon account, of all of my daily essentials, all my go-to essentials, the toothpaste that I use, some of the colognes that I have on there, the supplements that I take, the freaking silky sheets that I got, a uh, freaking car vacuum. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put shampoo on there. I'm gonna put. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put everything that y'all need on there. Just daily essentials and other things that y'all want to see, other things that y'all want. Y'all put it down in the comments below. But also, I got a question-based service. I'm going to pin this in the description as well as in, in the comments or something like that. I'm going to just put it somewhere. A question-based service as well. If you follow me on Instagram, you see me You see me, uh, You see see me. me posting every single day. You see me promoting it. If you have any type of questions, you click this link, you type it in, you ask your question. It doesn't cost to ask this question. But if you want if you really want to support, if you want to be able to reply to other people's questions, this, that, and the third, if you really want to support me, Whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's it's also subscription based, so you can pay five dollars a month. Or or whether it be five dollars a month or twenty-five dollars a month. It's just different tiers. You gotta just explore with it, bro. The twenty-five dollar tier is gonna be the best tier, obviously, because if you're on a twenty-five dollar tier every single month, we're gonna hop on a Zoom call. Everybody who pay for that twenty-five dollar tier, we're gonna hop on a Zoom call. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing. That's the same, that's the same benefits on a Patreon. If you're on a twenty-five dollar tier on a Patreon, we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one call every single month. It's as simple as that. So it just all depends. So for y'all. Because I have consultation service. I have all these different services. This is why y'all got to follow me on Instagram. This is why y'all got to watch the video from the beginning to the end. This is why y'all got to tap the description. And this is why y'all got to look in the comments. Because I have all these different things. So if you support me outside of me just making content and you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, whether you want to book a consultation or whether you want to support me through the question-based services or whether you want to just tap in to the different products that I have on Amazon, pay attention to the description box. Pay attention to the comment section and make sure that you follow me on my other socials because I have so many different things going to where y'all can be able to access me and support me on a different level. I'm also getting to the point where it's like, soon once I get settled in and once I do what I, what I, do what I need to do to get myself established, I'm gonna have a PO box as well. So y'all gonna be able to send me things, whatever y'all wanna send me, clothes if y'all got y'all own clothing brand, wanna send me things. Trust me, bro. I'm trying to, I'm taking this to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm taking this to the next level and I do this for y'all because I love y'all and I, I, I'm take, I take pride in what I do. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I edit these videos. I critique myself this, that, and the third. Like, I'm not giving y'all no BS. I'm serious about this. So if you support me, you want to tap in with the other things that I got going on, for one, follow me on Instagram at FlexLookWay. Follow me on TikTok at FlexLookWay. Always check the description box because I'm updated every single day. And also make sure that you check the things that's in the comments because that's where everything gonna be at, bro. But like I said, bro, I love y'all. Make sure y'all drop a like down below in the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment future suggestions, other video topics. Make sure you do your 50 push-ups. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. I'm going to drop another Patreon video this week. Not sure what it is. But for y'all that's on the Patreon, let me know what else y'all want to see. And if you're not on the Patreon and you're interested in getting onto the Patreon, let me know something that you want to see on the Patreon. All right, I love y'all, man. I'm out.